in this exercise, you're going to be analyzing pottery, um, 3D models of pottery that are available online. Um, you won't actually be looking at the shirts themselves, but you're looking at real artifacts uh, that have been uh, digitized. They are from the Middle Woodland periods, so around 200 BC to around 300. This is the, uh, you find shirts like this, pottery like this in Michigan. These happen to be from Ohio. The culture of this time period is typically known as the Hopewell. Uh, these are people who built uh, earthen burial mounds. Uh, some of these you can still find in Michigan all throughout the Midwest. What you're going to do is you're going to click on each of these numbers, which is linked to a 3D model in Sketchfab. Uh, make sure you have a pretty decent internet connection when you're doing it because the models tend to use up a lot of uh, bandwidth. And then what you're going to do is you're going to code them. You're going to figure out if the shirt belongs to a bowl or a jar. I'm going to show you how to do that. You're going to approximate the thickness, so fine, medium, thick. Temper, see if you can uh, tell if anything's added to the clay. Sometimes you won't be able to, so that's okay. Presence of decoration. All right, yes or no, uh, location of decoration, interior or exterior, type of decoration, things like burnishing, which is smoothing, um, uh, stamping, cord mark, that kind of thing. Diameter, again, you're just going to kind of estimate, so wide, na you know, medium, narrow, uh, residue, sooting, is there any evidence of residue on the inside or sooting on the outside, and then the possible function, right? So you know, a, a fairly large jar with a pretty wide opening, you know, of medium thickness, um, maybe not decorated would probably be a cooking vessel, a narrower jar um, that is maybe more likely decorated, uh, might be a storage a kind of jar, and then bowls, uh, you know, wide open bowls might be used for serving. So see, you know, you're going to code 15 of these and then uh, based on these criteria, then you're going to summarize each area, you know, in general, area one had medium thick vessels that were typically jars, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And then if you think different areas had different functions or people were doing different things in different areas of the site. Okay, so how do you analyze pottery? In order to tell if something is a bowl or a jar, it has to be, the shirt has to be oriented in the correct position. All right, well, what does this mean? Well, you can see when you uh, hold the shirt like this, or even like this, I sometimes do it with the interior, right? Um, one thing that you'll notice is that you can see the curve of the vessel here, right? You can see that curve. If you go like this, you can see the curve like that. What you want to do is you want to orient it until you don't see a curve, until it's flat. That is the correct orientation of the vessel because uh, when you're looking at these kinds of vessels, um, the, they are designed, all vessels are designed uh, to be flat on the top. Right? That is when you're when it's standing or sitting upright, this is completely flat. Right? Here you can see, you know, it's not completely flat. You could see some of the inside. So that it obviously wouldn't be oriented like that. Whenever you take any kind of vessel, bowl or jar, and you turn it upside down, it's gonna rest flat on top of the rim. So you have to make the rim oriented flat, and then you by the direction of the rim, you'll be able to tell if it's a bowl or jar, right? This is a pretty wide uh, mouth jar that has sitting on the outside. This would be probably a cooking pot, right? It's got a little, you know, blackening on the inside, maybe from uh, cooking of food, right? But you'll notice from the profile here that it tapers in and then flares out at the top. So that's a typical jar shape. So let's look at a couple of shirts just so you see. First, I'll show you a couple of other, other pots. Uh, here you can see uh, loading up again these yeah these kind of use a lot of memory um, okay so you can see this is a narrower jar right so you look at the opening and when you look at the curvature you could estimate 
you know, if this is wide or pretty narrow, I would say this is pretty narrow because you see a lot of curvature here. It's a pretty narrow opening. This would be good for storage. Okay. Um, let's take a look at another storage jar. And da, 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 da. Okay. okay, so here you can see again, pretty narrow. Uh, kind of getting constricted there at the top and then something that you would use for serving would be something like like this bowl right so and you can see here the edges are flaring out so how do you tell this just from a shirt so let's look at a shirt okay so again what you want to do I tend to turn it this way right if it's too far this way you see the curvature if it's too far that way you see the curvature again so you want it to be and the way you do this is you uh, left click and move your mouse or or on your cursor uh, to go in or pan in or out you can use two fingers on your trackpad um, uh, right clicking and moving your cursor will make it uh, zoom in and out as well right so you would rotate so left click and kind of slide it down to rotate it like so until you get it pretty flat and then you'll left click and rotate this way like so and you get the profile and so you can see that this is a jar right because the wall of the vessel is coming inwards only at the very top is it flaring outwards, right? But in general, it's going like this. This would be kind of probably a globular sort of jar, but you can see it's kind of going uh, inwards there, right? Okay, let's check out a different one. Sometimes it's a little tricky but here, here's another vessel. So you only have this part of the rim over here, but you can see the curvature here. You can see kind of the curvature there. You want to get it till it's flat and then you rotate it around like so. And you can see that this would be a bowl, right? It's going out and then up. It's not going in. So this would be a bowl, right? Pretty nice bowl kind of smooth on the inside uh, decorated on the outside okay so um, this is uh, this is how you're gonna do it so that's how now you know how to tell the difference between bowls and jars um, and what you will do with once you figure out if it's a bowl or a jar again is estimate the decoration the thickness all right, so I would say, let's look at this kind of shirt over here. Turn it around, get it flat, pretty flat. This one's a little trickier, right? It'd be something like that. I'd say this is pretty thin. And I would say this is kind of a medium opening. Not very wide, but not extremely narrow. Kind of medium, medium maybe or or slightly narrowed it's you know hard to tell we don't have measurements on these shirts so you're just estimating for the purpose of this lab it would be you know if you had the actual shirts in your hand or if there was a measuring tool you'd be able to actually take measurements here it says the length down here is um actually tells you the thickness seven point um three millimeters i don't believe all of the shirts have these attributes on them oh actually they do so you can also read at the bottom in the description um the the uh, thickness which this is eight millimeters so maybe you could decide okay anything that's you know eight millimeters or less however you want to do it will be or you know, six millimeters or less will be thin eight millimeters will be medium i just realized that the uh that the uh what do you call it that the the uh, thickness is on the description of the vessels right so here again you get it flat oriented this would be a jar okay well good luck with this assignment
I, th you know, I think it will be pretty interesting. 